Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Many of us will have seen the many examples of Ice Age cave art beautifully drawn and coloured and dominated by animal imagery. Ice Age people were so much more than mere survival specialists and they were so much more than nomadic hunter-gatherers. Our ancient ancestors were not simple people. They could build intricate houses from the bones of mammoths, they created and perfected the art of stone tool making, they accurately shaped animals from stone, they had a culture, burial rites and a belief system. And yes, from Europe to Siberia and beyond, they were able to survive the harsh conditions of the Ice Age. Their paintings though are truly incredible, and this stone canvas in the Laskow Cave is arguably one of humanity's greatest artistic achievements. Having a personal interest in Ice Age cultures meant I was fascinated to read the news this week that a furniture conservator, an amateur called Ben Bacon, may have solved a truly ancient mystery. The meaning behind seemingly random markings, lines, dots and shapes that were painted next to or onto animals by Ice Age artists. Mr Bacon suspected that these markings did have a specific meaning, an idea that's shared by many archaeologists, but amazingly, it's an amateur that may have solved it. He reviewed previous research, spent countless hours of his free time looking at ancient cave paintings and portable art, recording occurrences where strange markings are seen, and then analysing the data he'd collected. He theorised the markings were related to animal life cycles, and so Bacon approached academics with his theory. Impressed by his work, two professors from Durham University and one from University College London collaborated with him, and they were supported by two further independent researchers. Convinced they've cracked the code, their findings have now been published in the Cambridge Archaeological Journal, and Mr Bacon has made headlines around the world. The markings, which you could call a type of proto-writing, are found in more than 600 Ice Age images across Europe, and they reveal a record of information and references to a lunar calendar. It's worth remembering that this is more than 20,000 years old. The sequences of dots, lines and shapes appear alongside various animal species, including deer, wild horses, fish, bison and aurochs. And although the drawings are a form of artistic expression, they are also so much more, with markings recording sophisticated information about the timing of the animal's reproductive cycles. Using the birth cycles of equivalent animals today as a reference, the team worked out the number of marks were a record, by lunar month, of when the animals were breeding. The researchers believe that the inclusion of a Y symbol, formed by adding a diverging line to another, meant giving birth. Talking to the media, Mr Bacon said, the meaning of the markings within these drawings has always intrigued me, so I set about trying to decode them, using a similar approach that others took to understand an early form of Greek text. He continued, Using information and imagery of cave art available via the British Library and the internet, I amassed as much data as possible, and began looking for repeating patterns. I reached out to friends and university academics whose expertise was critical to proving my theory. It was surreal to sit in the British Library and slowly work out what people 20,000 years ago were saying, but the hours of hard work were certainly worth it. Professor Pettit from Durham University said, the results show that Ice Age hunter-gatherers were the first to use a systematic calendar and marks to record information about major ecological events within that calendar. The markings are a record of early timekeeping, and because the information is numerical and they were not recording speech, it's not considered to be a form of writing as such. 
although previous work by Genevieve von Pelsinger shows that Ice Age people did use at least 32 recurring symbols in their art, and so a primitive form of writing could still be encoded. The discovery shows what I've always believed was clear, that Ice Age people were complex and intelligent, not just living in the present trying to survive but recording memories when past events had occurred and using them to anticipate when similar events would occur in the future. They studied the natural world around them, collecting and recording information that would aid survival for generations. And it confirms what many have always believed, that ancient people did monitor the sun and the moon, using natural cycles to keep track of time. I also want to add that my friend who runs the blog called Old European Culture, which I've linked below, and is at Serbia Island on Twitter, goes one step further with ancient art, and believes that not just the symbols encode knowledge, but also the layout of the animals themselves. Using many examples through time, he shows how animal depictions do encode knowledge how groupings of animals and relationships between them tell stories of the seasons, and he does present some fantastic evidence that this method was used by humans for millennia, from the Ice Age to the Neolithic and beyond. Ben Bacon has solved one riddle of the ancient world, but I do think there will be a lot more to come in the future, and I can't wait to see how it unravels. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.